Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, another episode of CML Predictions. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool, easy stress ball. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And by the way, I have a new camera coming. It'll be here soon. So I'm probably going to do like an unboxing or something. But let's just get right into this video. Alright, what is up guys? So this is a super easy thing to do. It's just basically really easy. So I'm going to throw you guys the materials you're going to need right now. So first of all, you're going to need a bottle. Um, this one has worked pretty well. You don't want necessarily a lid this big unless you have stretchy, really stretchy balloons. Next, you're going to need three balloons, a funnel, makeshift funnel thing, a cup of flour, and some scissors. Alright, so let's get right into this. So first what you want to do is take off the top of this and then put your funnel on and then you want to take your cup of flour and very carefully pour it in without spilling any of it. It's very difficult for me. Okay, got it all in there. Most of it may have gone on my pants, but that's okay. All right, so now you just want to shake it around so you get it all into your container. Okay, so now that it's in your container, you want to take one of your balloons and just blow it up. Then you want to take it like this and twist it around about five times so that it looks just like that. And then you want to take it and stretch it over the lid of this. This part is kind of tricky with this container, so hopefully I can get it like the first try. Oh no, this lid of the hole. Okay, I'm gonna need another balloon. My bad. Okay, this one. This one doesn't have a hole. Yes, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. Okay, so now that you have it over, you just leave it like that. And you definitely you want it to be in a enclosed um, container because if it's not, the air will just all go out of the balloon. This way, the um, powder will just go right into the balloon. So you can just turn it upside down like that and shake it a little bit till all the powder gets in there. Flour. Okay, come on, shake it, shake it off, shake it off. Just shake it off. Okay, it's all in there, so now you want to pull it off and hold on to the end because if you don't, the flower will just spurt out. And even so, some of it might spurt out. Peel it off. Okay. Um, so you just put this to the side now, you don't need that anymore. So now what you want to do is just slowly let the air out without spewing too much flour. Now when you get to the bottom, you got to be careful because if you go too far, the flour will come up and it will mess it up. Okay. So now that we have that done, we are ready to move to the next stage, but this is a little bit of mess, so I'm gonna clean it up. So we'll see you guys in just all a right, second. All right, I got all of that cleaned up. So now we're ready to move to the next stage. What you wanna do is take this, and then take a pair of scissors, which I don't know if I included these in the instructions, but you will need these. And then just right about the edge of the cap, um, clip it, and there might be a little bit of flour in there. Yeah, there's a little bit, but that's okay. Just hold on to that. We'll throw that away later. So now that you have this part, what you want to do is take your other two balloons and cut those in the same place or a little bit farther down. Okay, now that we have that done, take it and stretch it over your one balloon that has the powder in it. This can be kind of tricky sometimes, as you can see right now, it's kind of tricky. 
Once you get the first one though, the second one's a little bit easier. Stretch it all the way around so that it uh, double layered and then just to be safe, use that third balloon and we'll do the same thing. If I can. There we go, that's a nice clean one. Okay, put a little stuff on the floor. So there you have it guys, a nice stress ball. Oh, it's really squishy and just mm, it go into different shapes. You can mold it around. All right, so let's see what else we can do with this. All thing. right, so I made like three of those things. So we're gonna test them out and see how durable they are. Okay, let's do this. So I'm just gonna chuck it against that wall right there. Right, let's go take a look at these puppies. See, look at that, just molded into a new shape, but it's totally fine. Mold it back. Let's get the other two. Oops, last one. Okay, so that was pretty successful. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was pretty fun to make, so um, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do next, and if this was a good DIY. So, um, I will see you guys next time. I guess that's all because I have all the tech. I'll see you guys next time.